Hi everybody, this is Tom down at Harborside Marine and Yacht Sales on a unseasonably warm but certainly welcome February day. Uh, today we're going to be doing a walkthrough on our brand new Sea Hunt 234 Ultra. Uh, it's in a brand new color for this year, uh, titanium gray. Uh, first thing I want to talk about, it's DNA consistent through the entire Sea Hunt line, is our hull. You have a really deep aggressive V up forward and a really exaggerated bow flare, Carolina flare. Uh, makes the boat exceptionally dry, rides really well, tracks really well, and is just going to give you a great day at, out on the water. All right, and welcome aboard the 2019 Sea Hunt 234 Ultra. Uh, this boat was specced out in titanium gray, which is a brand new color for this year. Uh, we also chose to do the underside of the T-top in titanium gray, which I think looks really, really sharp. Coming across the transom here, we have bench seating all the way across with three lockers. In this one, you have battery storage and your uh, master switch. In the middle here, you have an aerated live well. And then on this side, you have bucket storage. The nice thing on all Sea Hunt models is all of our stainless, whether it be cup holders, rod holders, cleats, whatever, it's all 316 true marine stainless, so you don't have to worry about stuff rusting out on you. If we come all the way to the back of the boat here, we have three more rod holders, as well as a second anchor locker, which is padded in the bottom and has a uh, cleated area for hanging your anchor. So this boat is currently specced out with a 200 Yamaha. You can get it with a 250 Yamaha. The speed difference between the two is only about four or five miles an hour, so that's up to you. Uh, this boat and the 235 Ultra are an identical hull. The only major differences are on this you don't have the side door and you don't have the wraparound windshield. Um, not much of a sacrifice really because the existing acrylic windshield does a pretty good job of keeping you out of the weather and this boat is considerably cheaper than the 235 Ultra. Over on the side here, in fact on both sides, you have rod storage as well as tow bars so you can lock yourself in when you're fishing, and you got padding right at knee height, so you're not smashing your knees up. Over here at the seating area, we have four rocket launchers all the way across the back, four rocket launchers across the top, and this boat was specced out with king rod holders. Uh, another nice thing Sea Hunt does from the factory is all of our T-tops come with brackets for doing outriggers. This boat can be ordered with uh, either no T-top at all, a fabric T-top, or in this case, the fiberglass T-top. Um, benefits you get from getting the full hard T-top is you get the lighting here, the flushed-in speakers, and what's really nice on hot, hot days is the boat comes with these three freshwater misters. Works like outdoor air conditioning, works fantastically on those really, really hot days. Moving up to the helm station, we have the stainless steel steering wheel with the suicide knob. It's tilt steering, so you can go all the way forward or all the way this way. Uh, all of these boats, you can either spec with either Garmin or Simrad. This boat's obviously outfit with Garmin. You can get it in either 9-inch or 12-inch. This one's a 9-inch. Um, JL Audio is standard on all of Sea Hunt boats. On this boat, you have six speakers, two up forward, two in the aft, and two in the T-top. Really, really nice thing on these new boats is the integration of all the electronics. The JL Audio, the Yamaha stuff, all talks to your chart plotter, whether it be Garmin or Simrad, and so you can run absolutely everything from just one touchscreen. Makes life really, really easy. Uh, up on the dash here, you have a foam pad for putting phones, wallets, that kind of thing, keep them from bouncing around. And then over here, we have a phone holder. And something we're doing on a lot of our new boats is actually putting a induction charger in behind so they can charge while you're underway and DJ while you're underway. Uh, up above here, you have a storage locker. And it's also the location for your matching VHF radio. A really nice feature from an upgrading and maintenance standpoint on all these T-tops is Sea Hunt doesn't provide radars from the factory, but they put a chase in the T-top frame so that if you want to add one later on, it's an easy thing to do. Moving up along the side here, we have... Um, the head area, it's currently all full of cushions, but there is room for a porta potty in there. So if you're out with the wife and kids, it makes the boat a lot more civilized. Moving a little further up forward, we have a forward central seating area, and underneath is either a fish locker or a beer cooler, whichever you prefer. Up forward in this V area, we have seating. Uh, underneath, on both sides, are 
storage areas that have gas shocks on them so you don't have to worry about them falling down and smushing anybody's fingers. And they also drain, drain directly overboard so you don't have to worry about them filling up your bilge. These backrests are standard from the factory, but they are removable. So if you're going out with the boys for fishing, you can take them off, leave them at the dock. Or if you're going out with the wife and kids, you can put them back on and have a nice comfy sun pad. Uh, you have these sta uh, stainless steel grab rails on the side here, so everybody can hold on good when you're going underway. Um, as you can see, they're flushed into the deck, so you don't have to worry about hanging up a toe on them. And then all the way up forward here, we have our forward anchor locker. And it does have cleats to hold down uh, your Danforth anchor and has plenty of room for your anchor road. Well, I think that's about it on this boat. I'm Tom. This is the 2019 Sea Hunt 234 Ultra, and I will see you out on the water.